And like most museums, the Northwest Museum of Arts and Culture is funded by the state and some generous donors, but they really have to count on folks coming through those doors. One of the ways they keep people interested in coming back is by changing the exhibits here pretty regularly. It's ever changing. Um, so an opportunity to see things that maybe you wouldn't have access to. Curator of Education Katie Stein showed us around the museum's new pride and joy the nationally touring treasure exhibit. We have over a thousand treasures in our museum and 10,000 square feet of treasures. Everything from solid bars of silver and gold jewelry pulled from shipwrecks to the tools and technology treasure hunters use every day. You can even pan for gold. The national display is in the museum's lower level. The rest of those 10,000 square feet are filled with local and regional treasures of every variety. Native American artifacts from Montana, Idaho, and Washington are inside the Nez Perce treasure room. We even found a piece of KXLY history, treasure from the early days of broadcasting. It's really exciting for visitors to see some of the things that they don't have access to that are, you know, in our vaults. So to be able to bring those out and, and show those to visitors, it's, it's been exciting for them to see and also fun for us to, to showcase. There's something here to keep the whole family curious. The interactivity of this exhibit is what makes it a big draw for kids, an expedition that just might lead to the most valuable treasure of all, a chance to learn. Well, the MAC is open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you can't make it during the day, Wednesday nights, they're open until 8 p.m. I'm Casey Lund for KXLY 4 News.